Welcome back. Uh, last video, I just did a video on um, my Shop Carl's order with their uh, fish. Uh, I want to say it's their. Oh, I'll put it right here in text. <laughs> I want to say it's bait insurance or or tackle ins tackle insurance. It's tackle insurance. So the Shop Carl's tackle insurance. Uh, I lost my um, my Mike Buka Bull Gill and I had it replaced free of charge. Uh, with the purchase of $25 worth of other items to fill my cart for the shipping and, you know, make it worth your while. But with that order, I had also ordered from uh, this company, which some of you, Bass Boxing Outdoors, <clears throat> might actually know this company. Um, they had a little bit of a sale. I saw it and I jumped on it. And it's a few baits in here that I absolutely, um, let's say I, I absolutely love uh, this particular uh, a bait up here, if you if you know what this tattoo is, <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I kind of uh, I kind of I couldn't help myself. So from Fresh Baits, Fresh Baits, I'm not gonna go to that. I'm gonna do that one last. So from Fresh Baits, I got an order of a handful of items, uh, UPS shipping thing. So I got uh, two, three, four, five items. We're gonna start with uh, I got three sets of worms, soft plastic worms, and two boxes of their seven count of a very cool lure. So we'll start with the three packages of worms here. We got ourselves a fresh bait sticker. That's that's okay. Baits with a Z. Huh. Fresh baits with a Z. We've got ourselves a, uh, okay. Your purchase helps employ people of all abilities. So they do help, uh, you know, people with, uh, with disabilities or people with, um, Pine Ridge Industries, okay. So yeah, so that's cool. That, it's nice to feel that they're helping, uh, you know, unite people with, uh, who are functioning, and might have physical problems or what have you. I always appreciate that, veterans too. But I saw these on their website and I could not resist these specific colors. So we've got Snow Cone. Let's start out with Snow Cone. And y'all can bust my chops on that on that shark shirt that I was wearing the other day. Uh, my wife got me that shirt for my birthday and I thought I'd just show it and I didn't realize what the color pattern signif uh, signifies, but uh, that's cool, I support them too. So it doesn't, no sweat off my tail. But here's the snow cone, which is this awesome red, yellow, blue, green, multicolor, rainbow colored, uh, Soft plastic worm. These are Wacky Rig Texas Rig. Um, it's an awesome drop shot uh, worm. I think they're floating. Snow cone. And I believe these are what, five inch? Yeah, five inch. So these are five inch little worms. Oh, my eyes do not deceive me anymore. Um, you get a pack of five in a pack. I wish these were like eight or ten packs, but hey, it is what it is. So we got five little worms. I can knock these down. What I like to do, honestly, is if I'm looking to go finesse, I'll use this. It'll get chewed up. It might get a little torn up. What I'll do is I'll come to the, the known wacky rig area, or if you're going to Nico rig it, or if you're, uh, you know, it's just gotten chewed up on your Texas rig, where the egg sac would technically be on the worm. I'll snip that off, and then I'll rig it that way, and then I've got my little, you know, my little Nico rig, my net head rig, and then I can do it this way for a Nico, and then I can cut it even shorter and have another Ned rig. So I can always get at least three different presentations out of a lure before it's completely decimated to the point where it's no longer usable or functioning for anything. And I think that's impress, you know, pretty darn important to make sure that your soft plastics do get the most value out of them. Uh, don't just, you know, use it once, throw it away. Use it once, throw it away. I know there's a lot of guys out there, especially those that are supported by the, uh, by the corporations that are given free baits. They get a thousand packages of baits. They use it. They get one little nick or tear in it. 
uh, and they just throw it away. They get a creature bait, it loses a claw, and they throw it away. I don't do that. I'll snap the other claw off, and I'll use it as a trailer to something or, uh, or what have you. I'll, I'll figure out a way to manipulate it to use what little actions left in it to make it valuable and extend the life of that soft plastic to extend the chance of catching more fish. So snow cone, number one. Number two, a item that is totally in my water and is a form of forage for larger bass. Uh, this guy right here, a little pearlescent pink with a hue of violet and blue with black speckles. Reminds you of anything aquatic. How about rainbow trout? So we got a five pack of what they call their rainbow trout color, which if bee fishing out there is watching this, I'm sure, you know, Brett's not, he's busy doing all that stuff, but that would have been a color that I would have suggested um, maybe playing around with, seeing if you can do, I know that most of his plastisols were opaque colors and opaque dyes, but I don't know if he ever had the chance to try to do a nuanced laminate of something like a rainbow trout or a ghost gill or something like that for a finesse bait, a worm, or a craw pattern. Um, I don't know if he's still into making the soft plastics. I know he's very busy. Uh, I miss him. I miss you, Brett. I miss you being out there. But uh, that all said and done, I saw those. They caught my eye on the site. And I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll try those. And finally, uh, in the space worm, as they call it, this is scented with an ease, so I'm not going to open this one. Uh, but this is the last package of worms that I got, and this is called Wild Cherry. Now, the Wild Cherry and the Snow Cone, these are limited edition colors. So they're only making a handful, you know, pours of them, a handful of like 10,000 pours. But they're only making a short number of these. They won't, uh, they won't make these constantly. It's a limited production run. Uh, but that, as like a blood worm, as a natural kind of worm, red definitely during the height of next spring, I think that red with the black flake could be killer too, so I decided to bust in and, and, and try that. And then for the piece de resistance, the two actual baits that caught my eye that I had wanted in two awesome colors, one in red, another bunch over here in green pumpkin. These are the scorpions. So I know these were on, uh, um, I'll try to find the actual video link uh, when he did this, but uh, Bass Box, and if you're out there, um, drop a comment, the name or the title of that video, so I can put in the description, in the expanded uh, uh, description of this video, your video where you showed uh, your scorpions. I'll also leave a link uh, to the video from, um, from Fresh Baits themselves. These are really cool soft plastics. They're they're poured flat poured on the bottom. You can rig these up a whole bunch of ways, Texas rigged or what have you. And the cool thing is, if you put if you put this on and rig it right, you can curl this tail over and clip it onto the hook point, and then this bait becomes a weedless bait using this tail as a weed guard. As you're swimming it, the tail will prevent it, but it's still such like a thin, flimsy little worm that once the fish bites it, that'll pop through the hook, hook point, will get exposed, and then you can hook your fish and bring them in. Now, it actually smells good. Um, it's lightly, lightly scented with anise and a set um, licorice smell, but I got them in the two colors. I got them in what they're calling Red Bug Death, which is this, and then th it's kind of like, it's like a really deep, a really deep, um, almost purplish green pumpkin. They're calling it brown, brown black, but it's a deep, deep brown color. Uh, you know, the camera's not going to do it justice. You can see it, it becomes almost transparent around the edges, especially the thinner areas of the legs, almost pearl, pearl color. But then as you get into the body of it, it gets this rich, deep brown color. And I think that's definitely something that'll tantalize a fish. So I'm looking forward to throwing this. Uh, maybe not this weekend because it's definitely going to be raining like crazy and I might have to work yet again. But uh, I'm definitely looking forward to throwing these and seeing what kind of reaction I can get. Because always, always, I look not just to match the hatch in my local waterways with things that resemble uh, bluegill, pumpkin seed, 
shiners, minnows, uh, cicadia, um, all that kind of stuff. But I look for items that are completely different from that. Something that has a different, a similar color, but a different presentation, action, physical style. Because a fish that sees you throwing a, a bullfrog painted topwater frog all day, every day, a thousand anglers throwing frogs, when you throw a frog that's colored bluegill color, it's going to grab their attention. And that's where you're going to end up hooking up with a fish that the angler in the boat right next to you can't catch. So uh, from me to you, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I cut the other video after the shop car was a little short, so I figured I'd set, set this up as a second video. I'm really looking forward to trying these, uh, these scorpions. Tell me, what do you think? Do you think scorpion soft plastics uh, was a good thing, or do you think I just blew my money on something that catches the angler and not the fish? Um, or do you like me? You like you're willing to try new things. Tell me what is the that's that's what is the weirdest lure in all of your fishing experiences from childhood till now? Uh, what's the oddest lure you ever threw? Was it um, something as silly as like um, the helicopter lure, or uh, what was it? The old as seen on TV lures. Was it something? Did you throw? Have you thrown and had success? with the scorpion, um, the savage gear stuff that looks, the 3D bat or what have you. Um, you tell me, what was the oddest lure that you had? Was it successful or do you think you just got gimmicked and uh, it caught your attention and it didn't catch a single fish? And were you, did you have any buyer's remorse about it? Uh, I appreciate all your uh, you know, input. I appreciate our conversations. I love commenting with you. Keep the comments coming. Ring the bell notification so you know when I post videos like this. And as always, I appreciate you subscribing to my channel and building and building and building because when we do get to 1,000 subscribers, there's going to be a big giveaway. And if I ever receive a million subscribers or even like 500,000 subscribers, I'm probably going to give away a bass boat. <laughs> we'll see when time comes. I might be the mixed Mr. Beast of, uh, of YouTube fishing channels. We'll see. With all that said, I appreciate all you guys spending a little time with me hanging out. Uh, I love doing this, and I love uh, the interactions as always. You guys, take it easy. Enjoy your weeks and weekends, and I will catch you on the next cast. Peace, Hukal.